This is our home. We live here. We share our home with millions of other species, most of whom we know nothing about. All these species are our neighbors and we're closely connected to them. The choices we make affect these species in many different ways. But if we don't know who our neighbors are, how can we expect to understand our impact on the planet's biodiversity? Using traditional methods, it's taken over 250 years to describe 1.7 million species. At this rate, it'll take at least 500 years to complete the list. Now, using new DNA-based tools, scientists are building a digital list of all living species on the planet. With these new techniques and help from people around the world, we can finish the list much sooner. Even you can help. Seriously, we can all make a difference. In Canada, the Biodiversity Institute of Ontario is home to IBOL, the International Barcode of Life Project. In collaboration with people and organizations from around the world, they've built a publicly searchable database of short, species-specific DNA sequences that functions like a barcode. Yes, a barcode! similar to the barcodes you find on your groceries, your books, and just about everything you buy. Just like these barcodes are unique to consumer products, DNA barcodes can be used to register and identify different species, even from larval forms or fragmentary remains. Here's how it works. DNA is extracted from any living organism. Its barcode is then amplified, sequenced, and submitted to the BOLD database, along with information about where and when the specimen was collected. So far, over 70,000 species have been barcoded, and with the help from students around the world, they've uncovered some startling things. High school students across North America discovered that 25% of fish sold in supermarkets was mislabeled, and in some cases, at-risk species were found in stores. Meanwhile, in an apartment in New York City, a new species of cockroach was found. And across Europe, students are beginning to barcode plants. To foster global collaboration, IBOL is building a social networking game called the Global Biodiversity Challenge. The game is designed to encourage students and schools to collaborate with scientists and participate in DNA barcoding. Using these genetic tools, students can make new discoveries and address important social issues. So join the challenge! Compete to discover something new, gain points for your findings, get published in the BOLD database, become a citizen scientist and most importantly, help all of us better understand our place alongside our neighbors in the web of life on Earth.